Masahiro Ito was born in Saitama, Japan in 1972, and is best known for his contributions to the first three Silent Hill games. Ito studied graphic design at the Tama Art University. In 1997, he joined Konami and became part of Team Silent. He said they were attempting to make a video game version of Stephen King's The Mist. He had graduated recently before he joined Konami, so he was working on a variety of different things. Since people noticed he was making interesting creature drawings, Toyama, the director, assigned him the role of creature designer. His work on these games established the visual look and feel of the series, as well as creating iconic monsters like Pyramid Head. He used soft image for modeling and painting textures, and all of the 3D images on his website were made with this software. He designed backgrounds and creatures for the first game, and was art director and did creature design, modeling, and animation for the second game. For Silent Hill 3, he did design and modeling of the backgrounds. He received a special thanks in the credits of the fourth game. Ito has drawn inspiration from a diverse array of artists and filmmakers. One can see the inspiration of the film Jacob's Ladder in some of the monster designs, as well as the hospitals in the games. Ito saw the film in a theater while he was still a student, and said it left a great impression on him. The main character, Jacob Singer, is wheeled through a nightmarish hospital, strapped to a gurney. He sees deformed humans and doctors with no eyes, as well as a lot of humanoid creatures in frames or boxes. It brings to mind several scenes in the Silent Hill games, especially the cutscene of James being wheeled on a gurney in Brookhaven. There are bloody floors littered with body parts in areas of Silent Hill 3 as well, and the subway scene is reminiscent of the film. It has the same stop, Bergen Street, also. Many of the monster designs look relatively human at first, but upon closer inspection, have missing or distorted features. Mm. And they move and behave in strange ways. In the making of Silent Hill 2, Ito explains some of the inspirations behind the monsters. The lying figures were inspired by a friend who was walking around in a hooded sweatshirt with his hands in his pockets. Other monsters resemble humans but with mannerisms and movements of a drunk person. The inspirations behind the Otherworld school in the first game were Kowloon, Walled City, and Jacob's Ladder. Kowloon, Walled City was a densely populated area in Kowloon City, Hong Kong. It was ungoverned and had about 50,000 residents, despite being only about six and a half acres. It was controlled by local triads and was known for its high rate of drug abuse, prostitution, and gambling. However, most of the residents lived peacefully and were not involved in any type of crime. Though the living conditions were difficult, the people formed a tightly knit community. In 1987, Hong Kong decided to announce its plan to demolish the city. The residents didn't want to leave, even though it was considered a slum and an eyesore to those on the outside. Many still speak fondly of the city. There was a difficult process of evicting residents, and demolition began in 1993. It has ex inspired many films and books, such as Call of Duty, Black Ops, Fear Effect, The Neighborhood, The Narrows, and Batman Begins, and The Bourne Supremacy. He has also cited the Prodigy video, Breathe. Beginning with the first game, a lot of the early games included corpses or figures inside frames or cages. There were bodies like this in the first game, but also in the famous Misty Day Remains of the Judgment painting of Pyramid Head, and even some enemies in the second game. As Ito has talked a lot about his love of the artist Francis Bacon, I assume these were taken from Bacon. However, Ito has stated that they were actually inspired by Isamu Noguchi's death lynch figure. However, Ito says he takes inspiration from a variety of sources since otherwise the new work may look too much like the original that inspired it. So it can sometimes be hard to pinpoint just one source. My aim is to create different concepts from other artists. When I'm asked to work on a game-related project, I try to look at things unrelated to the game genre, fashion magazines, or going to art exhibitions. I would also try to watch lesser-known films. He says he tries to merge ideas from different sources and then evolve these into something new.
For example, as mentioned before, many things in the series take inspiration from the original version of Jacob's Ladder. But Jacob's Ladder itself took a large amount of imagery directly from the photographer Joel Peter Witkin. The Legless Man in the Cage, reminiscent of Silent Hill in Jacob's Ladder, was a direct quote of a Witkin photo. The Closer's Mouse were inspired by the second figure in Francis Bacon's second version of Triptych 1944. Silent Hill 2's Bubblehead Nurse was initially supposed to have a thin condom-like skin over her semi-liquid head. This would burst when their heads were shot. This is also the reason cited for the head shaking, though this is also reminiscent of certain filmmakers such as David Lynch. As with some of the more risque, non-Silent Hill artwork that Ito has done, bondage-inspired fashion was also an inspiration for some aspects of the costumes. The nurses were supposed to originally have IV drip stands as their weapons, but this was changed to a rusty pipe as a throwback to Harry's pipe weapon in the first game. He says that the bubblehead nurse's symbolism is that of Mary being suffocated under the pillow. The Silent Hill series is full of details that you could easily overlook the first time through, and much of the details and scenery was carefully chosen and thought out. For example, in Silent Hill 3, there are pictures of ears and mouse on the wall of the hospital and in Hilltop Center. Ito explained on his message board that he wanted to use these to express the other world and its personality, but he didn't want to use eyes, because he didn't use them in the Silent Hill series creature design. The ear is bloody because Alessa is angry. Likewise, the red around the nurse's mouse are to express a feeling of anger. The mouse appear to be smiling, but Ito says... They really represent Alessa's shrieking insanity. Pyramid Head is the most instantly recognizable character in the series. Ito has explained some aspects of Pyramid Head's appearance on his message board. Since Pyramid Head doesn't have a face, he uses his hands to express himself. Silent Hill 2 was developed for the PlayStation 2. Though it was much more visually detailed than the original game for PlayStation, there were still some limitations to the numbers of polygons that could be used for a character or monster. Pyramid Head's hands are gloved because that reduces the polygon count. However, it was still possible to use the hands expressively by moving his index finger. This also allows him to make pointing motions. Pyramid Head in Silent Hill 2 is based on the old executioners in Silent Hill, but specifically, this incarnation represents James' guilt. He attacks other creatures on James' delusion, Ito says. Later, Pyramid Head kills himself, but only after James has realized his own guilt, so Pyramid Head is no longer needed. While there is a lot of meaning behind certain things in the series, he has also pointed out that sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. Certain objects in Silent Hill 4, for example, were simply copied from objects in Silent Hill 3, so they don't have any serious meaning. When asked what is under Pyramid Head's helmet, he simply replies, I don't know, LOL. His design was partially inspired by some of Ito's old oil and acrylic paintings. In addition to the games, he has illustrated some Silent Hill comics for mobile phones. The first of these was Cage of Cradle in 2006. The scenario for this comic was written by Hiroyuki Owaku, the writer who co-wrote or wrote the scenarios for the first three games, and centers on Lisa Garland, the nurse that took care of Alessa from the first game. He took Owaku's story and modified it somewhat to fit his imagery. Unfortunately, this was only made available for cell phones in Japan, and has not been translated or ma made available elsewhere. Double Under Dusk was released the following year, and also was only for cell phones in Japan. He also has done a variant cover for Dying Inside number 3, many illustrations for novelized versions of Silent Hill which were only available in Japan. In 2008, he created the comic White Hunter for the Silent Hill Zero soundtrack, also known as Origins, The reason for the White Hunter being in Russian was due to Ito's interest in Russian language and culture. He wanted to make another pyramid head in his own world, and he did this by making his helmet white instead of red and naming him in Russian.
He has posted additional drawings of incarnations of Pyramid Head on his website and via Twitter. In addition to his work on Silent Hill related projects, he has also done illustrations for KIBA, a Japanese trading card game, and Metal Gear Solid 4. He has released an art book called The Second Wild Pig twice at Comic Mart at 74 in Japan. He has stated that he would have liked to release this or something similar overseas, but it's been too difficult and hasn't happened yet. He stated that he had been contacted to work on Silent Hill Revelation 3D to design characters and backgrounds, but he had to decline because of a busy work schedule. He has expressed interest in making a book of Pyramid Head art, but this may never come to fruition because of difficulties with Konami and publishing it overseas. This is also why Cage of Cradle, Double Under Dusk, and his art book weren't released anywhere but Japan. He also did a Japanese cover variation for Silent Hill Downpour. He was commended by a panel of judges in 2001 at the Japan Media Arts Festival for his short Fukuro video, which features Pyramid Head. In 2012, he had the exposition Silent Hill at the Gallery Shop in Paris. At the same time, two figures he had designed were released by Toy Monkey of Pyramid Head and the Bubblehead Nurse. They were also displayed at the exhibit, which was timed to coincide with the release of the second Silent Hill film. He has worked as an independent illustrator and designer since 2006, working on a wide variety of projects. He also made concept art for the creature in Nightcry, a spiritual successor to the Clock Tower series. He has also worked on his personal project Acid Buffer Zone in 2014, writing all of the story and doing the illustrations, as well as making the master versions for the model kits released in conjunction with Modelcasten, a Japanese manufacturer of resin model kits. Ito has stated that the edges of Pyramid Head's helmet were inspired by the lower hull of the King Tiger World War II German tank. He describes himself as a tank enthusiast, so this may not be surprising. In fact, in 2019, Wargaming Japan collaborated with Ito on the world of tanks. He was tasked with creating an original tank concept. He considered his background in working on the Silent Hill series important for the project, and looked for ways to incorporate Silent Hill elements into the tank.